Hello, in this video I'm going to be comparing three different cases for the Kindle Scribe. I bought a Kindle Scribe last month and when I bought it I found a bundle deal on sale. It included the, the top line Scribe with 64 gigabytes and the deluxe pen and it also came with a cover and a charger thing and it was selling for less than what the low-end model usually sells for so I thought it, it seemed like a good deal so I got that and I figured since it came with a cover I may not have to buy a cover for it but as you can see I eventually did so let's talk about each of these covers this is the cover that came with the Kindle it's the Amazon cover it opens up at the top like that and I find that annoying. I don't like covers that open up at the top. I prefer left to right. Gives it more of the feel of a book than this has. And this thing sticks out on the sides more. I think this is to hold the pen in place. I usually hold the pen on the middle frame that I store my books, e-readers on. And I don't really need that. And this might be fine if you're going to be using this mainly as a writing device. You're taking it to work with you and taking notes on it. But for reading, it's not really satisfactory. And having this loop at the top or bottom can make it hard to put on the bookshelf. It doesn't go like that, so I, I put it like this when I put it on the bookshelf. And... It does have some ergonomic features, so let's take a look at some of those. So, one way of using it is like this. I just put my arm in here, and I can hold the Kindle up, and that's that's a comfortable way to read. Read, I actually like doing that. And another way is to put this thing here on, and I can stick my hand in here and control the angle. You might not have the same. You might not find it as easy to stick your hand in there. Mine is small and handicapped. I don't have thumbs. Uh, my hand's probably smaller than yours. But this works for me. But one caveat here is that sometimes at a certain angle, I want. I, I can't get it in at the right angle to easily do this, and it can pop open like that, and that's inconvenient. but it does have those features okay it can you can just use it as a stand like this you can turn it around for writing I found this angle to be a little steep when I tried it on my desk and one difference between this and the others is that this is just a cover it's not a real case these these are both cases the difference between a case and a cover is that a case is going to more fully enclose the device and protect it better in case of drops or uh, rough handling it during transportation. You know, if this dropped, let's just try dropping it on me and see what happens. Okay, well, the, this stayed in, which is good. But if it hit something harder, you know, this could easily pop out and maybe get damaged which would not be good so one of the reasons I considered getting another case was that this was the most expensive of cases and if I return it I can get back uh, close to fifty dollars so the other cases are both less than that this this is the second one I got I got it from eBay from a company called Fenty. You can see this is a nice looking cover. It has a purple marbleized pattern on it. I like how this case feels. It's nice and smooth. Feels a bit plush. And let me put this in here. Easily snaps in. We have a frame that goes all around the candle except for this spot here 
where it exposes the, uh, the, the USB port and the power button and a little power light. And with this strap on here, it keeps it very secure. It's, so this is a good way to keep it safe during transportation or if it, you drop it. Now this has some good ergonomic features that I like. So let me go over some of those. Okay, so one way of using this is to stick my finger in here and I can hold it with my left hand or turn pages with my right. It's a little uncomfortable to do that though. So there are other options I can use. If I turn it around like this, this has an inner pocket on the outside cover. So it's an outside pocket really. And but when I use it, it's going to be on the inside. And I stick my hand inside that pocket and I can hold on to the device very well. And this make this is a very convenient way to read with this device. Uh, you can see the stand sticking out because I'm holding the case upside down. And that brings me to another way to use this. I have this pillow here. It's flat on one side, curved on the other. So I can rest on my legs with the flat side. And for this, I'm going to want to take this strap here. Oh, here it is. And put it over here just to secure that on better. And I can put this on like this. And this is a convenient way to read. I don't have to hold it. It just sits in my lap. Very secure and I can turn pages as I wish. And it's at a good angle for reading. Okay. Another way to use it is I have this thing here which is for holding resistance bands over a door frame. And if I undo this and we have this hole here which is so you can charge on the side while it's closed. But it has another use. I can stick this through having some trouble here. Okay, so I've stuck that through there. And now let's turn this around. Set this here. I have an anchor for holding the device in place. Put that through my wrist. And even if I want to turn this at an angle, holding it with but with that can anchor it in place a bit. And I can just keep a light touch on this end and it stays in place. Or if I have well then I don't really need that. But yeah, that's that can be another helpful way to hold on to the device while reading. By the way I but I'm probably going to rely on the pocket the most. That's that seems to be a very easy way to hold it and it doesn't depend on having other things. But one more thing I use for reading sometimes is this lap desk here. It has a rim here to hold things in place. It has uh, this here, a groove which you can stick things into. The groove is very good for the Lightbook Mars, but this will not fit in there. It, it can go on like this, which is good. And I'll get back to that when I'm talking about another device. Okay, let me talk about why I wanted to get this. This is the third cover. And here is my Paperwhite 5 cover. Inside it has this hand strap here. You can use a hand strap like that, usually. 
But another way I used a hand strap is with this here coat hanger. So stick the hand strap through there and I can hold it in place while reading. And I don't have to touch the device. Now I can hold it with either hand, but I usually hold it with the left so I can turn with the right. Okay, and so I wanted something like that for the Kindle Scribe. And this case has that feature. It has two straps actually, one on each side, and that's good because this is a larger, heavier device than the Paperwhite 5 is. So let's put the scribe into here. This has this which comes out, so you can put it in. So first I'll take this out. I'm taking it out with the help of a back scratcher. That is the curved part which you scratch yourself with. And I have to turn this around. And here, oh, I did it without. I used my fingers. Okay. I think my fingernails were shorter when I tried it before. But it popped out that way. And now, just slide it into here. Do you see what I'm doing here? And this thing tucks underneath here. And it seems to hold it in place well. The Paperwhite 5 cover has a Velcro there to help keep it in place even better. This does not have the Velcro, but it still seems to be doing a good job. And let's put the coat hanger through these straps here. Put it through one and then through the other. And I can read like this or like this. One issue I'm having here is that this is heavier than the Paperwhite 5 and so it's harder to make and to keep this at the right angle. It takes more strength to deal with this. And also that can happen because there's there's no strap holding this cover here and the device is heavier than the Paperwhite 5. Maybe the magnets are weaker, I don't know. But I know the device is definitely heavier than the Paperwhite 5. And that can be inconvenient if you know this happens. But I'm usually not holding it at that angle. But this is not a bad way to read. And if I had just gotten this cover and didn't get the other one, I would probably be happy with that. But I do prefer the ergonomics of the Fenty cover. I particularly like the pocket on that one. And let's talk about some of the differences between this and the other one. Uh, the stand here can be used in much the same way, but it's a little smaller. It's shorter, thinner, not as wide, and this is not quite as long, it's not quite as thick. And you know, that's because there's less room for it than there is on this device. Okay, so when I got this cover, it felt sort of cheap. It's more grainy, has a more grainy feel to it than this has. This is nice and smooth, feels plush. It's very comfortable. When I use this one like this, just putting my hand inside. The covers do not cling to my skin very well. And it doesn't really feel as comfortable as when I'm using this cover here. Whereas this one, I'll do it without the device right now. There's it feels a bit more clingy to the skin, which is good for 
by just keeping the covers together when I'm holding it like this. And that can make reading more comfortable. Okay, let me get back to using this because I don't think I showed you the device with the Amazon cover. I mean, okay, while I have it here, like the Fenty cover, this is not going to fit into the groove here, though it does fit here, and that can be a comfortable way to read. So let's take it out. Put it back in this one. That's the wrong way. Okay. Now I can try putting in like that. And I can read it like that, but it, because it's heavier, I think it goes back at a further angle than the Lightbook Mars does. And it's a little more uncomfortable to read it this way. So overall, my choice was the Fenty cover. I'll go over some of the things I liked best about this. Uh, this was the best looking cover. Although it's a little inconvenient to be using the, undoing this strap and doing it again, it becomes second nature and I get used to it. So that's not so bad. The ergonomic options for this were all very good. I, you know, I would like to have straps on it as well, but overall I found using this pocket here to be more convenient than using the straps. Uh, regarding the feel, I think, you know, the, the Fenty feels better than the others do. Regarding the price, this is actually the cheapest one it cost me under $20. The others all cost more. I think it provides the best protection of any of them. This is the one that weighs the most. It's just half a pound, sorry, half an ounce lighter than the Kindle DX that I have. And I, I appreciate that it has the same heft as the Kindle DX, which I'm used to. Though if you want to hold a device the device in your hand this Amazon cover might be preferable for you and like sticky that might make it easier to hold like that although unfortunately unless you're left-handed the the thick part here of device is on the left side so that might not be as useful but let's turn it around maybe that would help hold it but I'm not one to actually hold the device while reading it I would set it down and just keep some control over it hold it in place not really holding it up and for that purpose you know I'm really satisfied with the Fenty cover this Amazon one does have some good features in that regard and so does the other one but I had to make a choice and I don't want to be constantly switching between covers so there you go my choice is the Fenty cover you might choose something else and I'll try to put links to each of these below the video thank you for watching